Hi there, I'm Andy Hillier and today's guitar lesson is going to be on Transparent Soul by Willow. It's a great guitar track with cool little guitar riffs. Uh, I'm going to teach you the whole song. Just before I do though, if you wouldn't mind subscribing to my channel, which is Andy Hillier, give me a like on the video um, and leave me some comments in the comment section. Let me know what songs you want me to do next. Um, also, let me know where in the world you're from and just give me some feedback. And if you love what I'm doing and you want to support me, keep me doing this um, channel and doing videos. Uh, you can support me on Patreon. I'll also put the tabs for this on there so you can print them out so you've got them at home. My guitar is in standard tuning. Uh, now the first guitar part that goes... So we're starting off on B7 and then going to G7 and just hold them down. So we've got B7, G7, and then another B7, and another G7. So you've got... So da, 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 da. And then we're going to go to fret 5 on the B string, and then keep the finger on G7. So that's why I'm using my little finger and my third finger to start with, because then I can go to my first finger and third finger when we go to the 5. So you're going to play the B5, which is at the end of the first bar, and then in the second bar, there's a note in the brackets. You don't play that. That's just held on from the previous note. So don't play anything in the bracket. So you've played the five at the end of bar one, and then it goes to the G7, B5, G7, B5, and G7. So let me just play bars one and two for you. There you go. And then in bar three, we've keeping the finger on 5, but then we've got a G6, so B5 to G6. Same sort of idea, same rhythm from bar 1. Da, du, da, du. And then the 5 at the end, going into bar 4, is the same as bar 2. Uh, so. so let me play bars 1, 2, 3 and 4, we get... And then bars 5, 6 and 7 are the same as 1, 2 and 3, the only difference being at the end of bar 7 we go to uh, B3 and then into the next bar we've got G4, so it goes, so bars 7 and 8 go. So the whole line slowly goes. And then over that last bar, a lead guitar part comes in. The lead guitar part goes. So for that, we play a B3 and then E5 sliding up to E7. And then you've got a B7. So it goes rest. So that's over the last bar of the uh, the previous line, so it goes. And then you're holding that on into the next bar and into the next bar. Um, and then we go the same idea, going B3, and then slide from E5 to E7, and then play a B5 this time. So this is in bar 11, you've got rest. Two, three, four, one. And then in bar 13 does the same idea, B3, E5 sliding up to E7, and then plays a B3 this time, and then you're holding it on into the next bar, uh, and then on bar 15 it just goes B3 and B2. So the whole line slowly goes, one, two, three, four, rest. Two, three, four, one. One, two, three, four, one. One, two, three, four, one, two, three. 
So that's that little lead guitar part at the beginning. And then we get the verse. Now, there isn't any guitar um, playing at the beginning of the verse. It's just like bass. So I've, I've kind of put like, the bass line down. Um, so you can play this through it and it sounds cool. It sounds like this. So for that, we're playing E3. And I want you to try and use these down, um, the picking directions if you can. So you're going to go down, 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 up. And then onto an open E. So we've got an up stroke. Ignore the note in the bracket, so then it's another up, 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 down. So on the open ear it goes up, 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 down. So bars 18 and 19 go. And then it's going to do the same rhythm going from E2 to A2. So bars 20 and 21 go. So the whole line will sound like this. Up speed, one, two, three, four. So that just repeats around the verse. And then in the chorus, we can do exactly the same thing, but we can do it with power chords. So we've got E3, and then you've got A5 with your third finger. Then the open E, we've got just the open E with A2. Uh, and then it goes to the F sharp power chord, which is E2 with A4. Then down the string to B power chord, which is A2 and D4. Putting it together, we get. So that just repeats around the chorus, then you can go back to the verse playing it with like the single notes, and then chorus. And then at the end of the song, we get this little solo, which goes. So they're all minims. Uh, we play G7, E7, E5, B7. B5, E7, E5, B7, which slides down to a B3. Uh, let's just play those first four bars. Go. And then it goes to E7, E5, B7, E7, E9, E12, and E14. So each one lasts for two beats, but the tempo is really fast. So the, the the whole line should go one, two, three, four. And that's the end of the song. Well, hopefully you've enjoyed this little guitar lesson. If you have, if you wouldn't mind subscribing to my channel, it really does help me out. Give me a like on the video as well. Leave me some comments in the comment section. Let me know where in the world you're from. Let me know what songs you'd like me to do or what videos you'd like me to create. Um, and if you love what I'm doing and you want to support me, keep me doing this channel. Uh, you can support me on Patreon. Um, I've said it as cheaply as possible, uh, but I put tabs on there so you can print them out. Um, and it just really does help support me. Thanks for watching this. I've been Andy Hillier and I'll see you next time.